Okay, she's already here. And today with me, Ben, I'm gonna show you my deck profile. It's the new Alpha deck profile. Here we go. So first of all, I play four of the new Alpha. The skill is good. You can when this unit is placed on vanguard or when this unit is right, you can solve this one unit with breathability and call one unit with breathability from that zap him. So you can basically call anything with breathability. And the second skill is uh, when this unit attack GB2, you can you get 5k power and one critical. So this unit is very good in vanguard system or vanguard system. Next, I still play three of the the crowd now. Uh, the skill is pretty good. You can give four game power uh, and call card from your hand, and it also have a breath uh, in its skill. So that's for grade three. Next, for grade two, I play four Suleiman, still the best. Grade 2 is 12k attack and breath, and he can call any grade 2 from their deck. And next, I play 3 Lifarot, the new Lifarot. Of course, he needs a brief one card to attack, and uh, the second skill is not GB. So, when your one card is half mile, you can uh, when you shoot attack, you can counter this one and call a grade 2 with brave ability. Uh, and also, this is this card is 10k base power, so it's uh, pretty good against uh, a rush deck. Next, I play 2 Raidon. Raidon is still 12k attacker when super rare called, and it's also front row uh, power booster. Still good. And I play one Hobson for calling Brave also. and also uh, early rush. This card also for early rush and calling your PGs or your uh, power charge. Albion. One to call the new Altmel or call anything with Brave ability. And the last I Ready to play one step go also for rush for early game rush and for calling uh, like my Damascus or my Felix and that's all for grade 2 and for the grade 1 I play 3 Felix why not 4 uh, I love the ratio of 3 because yeah you can only have three back back rear guard back rear guard sorry. uh the skill is pretty good when brave gb2 uh your front row got 2k and the uh, and rushes and the first skill if your front guard is brave uh you can get 1k power so it's 8k and he got rushes and for the PG, I played to the uh, single uh, single no. If your hand is uh, low, when your hand is one or zero, you can so just one and know your opponent attack. And I play one hope keeper. Still, uh, when you need it, you can call it and bring it back to hand. Bring her back to hand. So I only run three pages because your G card is also a uh, kind of a pages. So okay, we need a more offensive um, line. So next, I only play to straight further because yeah, you uh, you have the starter. You can. Search for Almel. And next, I play two Damascus. Still, for an 
flipper and draw power still good I cannot replace it and one uni uh, it's uh, like a free strike if your hand is brave so yeah you only play one and one power charge also for brave enabler okay so it's for grade one For grade zero, for trigger lineup, I play four of the new brave critical. The skill is great. Uh, when you brave, he goes to soul, and target one brave ability unit, he get five five k. Four of Alonga still, because this deck need. So soul bless. It's like me soul. So yeah. Two of my critical. Only two. Because I play I still play to stand. It's for defensive reason. And also you can stand your alt mount so you he can swing for fifth uh, six sixteen K and two crits again. Also for heal. Uh, I uh, I prefer use this seal because I still use mask Maybe I can change it with the new uh, unflip or um, soul charging heal. Better. That's for trigger. And for red zero, I play one. This uh, Alexos is brave enable. It's also brave, so you can call it with. I mean, your new alt mount. Uh, I usually use this in the deck, and for the real starter, I use this Milius. You can search for alt mount. Stop uh, when the boosted unit with breathability attack hit. You can search ten card from your top deck, and uh, add two alt mount, one to soul and one to hand. If you only find one, you can add, just add it to hand. It's optional. For grade four, for stride lineup, I still play two Fides, two of Fides. It's my first stride or maybe second stride. You can um, destroy your opponent, retire your opponent unit. It's great. You can you can retire any uh, unit that this um, annoying uh, like broken heart in angel feather. Next, I play two of the new fides because new fides is everything. Uh, it's kind of uh, the the finisher. So your open uh, need to guard more because the, his first skill when brave unit attack if the guardian is only one uh, the the attack is hit so you your opponent need to call uh, two or more card in the guardian uh, circle to guard brave unit attack the second skill is also very good uh, when you brave. You can call three unit from your deck, anything. It's uh, GB4. It's better than the Breath Lancer, of course. Next, I play two Halbuck. Halbuck is great because uh, it can be your first try to call any Breath unit. So, with combined with the new Armel, you can call two Breath unit. Next, I play two Hop Dragon. Yeah, for crit the critical and the power, it's still great. Um, so you can call any grade two uh, from your deck. Next, I play one GB8. Yeah, GB8 is GB8. Call five, get four K. And your deck is only trigger, so it's maybe like 
three trigger every time. One reflector still. I don't know because uh, yeah, it's it's gr and it's, it's cool. When my videos run out, I can use this, and I also can use GB8, either one. And last, this GR Alman, I consider to uh, change it with Ultima, but Ultima is uh, super pricey, so yeah, later maybe. Uh, use Ultima, Ultima is great. Sorry, for trigger line, uh, jigger lineup. Oh, sorry, I play one mask up still two grain and two of the new PG uh, jigger that act like PG. So the skill is when brave, uh, you can choose one unit with brave ability and gotta be it okay just like that okay that's all that's all for uh, the alma Lab profile you can subscribe you can comment you can you can comment you can like and you can share this video thank you bye